Yeah, salamun alaikum my friends and welcome to a new type of video on my channel. A lot of you guys wanted me to talk about potential transfers and I thought come on let's give it a try and you guys will decide if this series will continue or not and I hope you will enjoy this series and I hope you will comment down below with some more potential transfers or transfer rumors because I really like to read about these rumors on the internet and this makes so much fun and I really hope you will comment down below let me know what you think about these transfer rumors I am going to present you in the next seconds. To start off in this series it would be awesome if we could hit 400 likes and let's get to the first potential transfer. And this would be maybe one of the biggest transfers in this transfer window, my friends. Paul Pogba to Real Madrid. Yes, really, that would be incredible. I don't know what to say about this. This young guy is just a complete midfielder, in my opinion. And Real Madrid would be the next step. Of course, I think it will depend on how the Champions League final will end for Juventus Turin. But... I don't know, I would welcome this transfer because Real Madrid is one of the biggest clubs on this planet and why not? And I just read that a friend of Pogba said that he wants to join Real Madrid. What do you think about it? Let me know it in the comments below as well. Let's continue with Angel Di Maria my friends and a little information for you I've picked out five potential transfers for this episode So if we are going to continue this series in the next episode there will be five other potential transfers and normally I really like Angel Di Maria He's a player with a lot of potential, but especially at the end of the season it was just disappointing what he did at Manchester United and I really don't know what I should say now I don't want to say anything wrong because I like how he is performing on the pitch normally but I don't know if this transfer would fit if he's going to leave to Paris Saint-Germain after just one year at Manchester United let me know what you think about it in the comments down below I have really mixed feelings with this potential transfer we are going to stay at Manchester United and as you can see Manchester United United wants to sign Otamendi as a defender from Valencia. After Mats Hummel said that he's going to stay at Dortmund, I really don't know why because I can't imagine that the offer from Manchester United for Mats Hummels was a bad one, but nevertheless they want to have Otamendi now from Valencia. I really can't say anything about his performance because I haven't seen him in a live match. So. I just can tell you what I'm reading about this guy. He could absolutely fit to Manchester United, but I read that they want to have 50 million euro for this guy. So, I don't know if this is going to be realistic. Let me know what you think about it. The next player we look at is Ilkay Gundogan, my friends. And yes, the German-Turkish guy was hunted by Manchester United as well. He is not going to extend his contract at Borussia Dortmund. He has a contract until 2016, so one more season. And it looks like that Barcelona is going to sign him. Yes, Barcelona is not allowed to transfer players in this transfer window. But it looks like that they are going to sign Gundogan in the window transfer window and the deal should be already perfect. In the last couple of weeks it looked like Gundogan is going to sign for Bayern Munich but I think there was a problem with the wages so Barcelona could fit to Ilkay Gundogan in my opinion. I'm not sure with the decision that he's going to be transferred in the winter transfer window. I would say that would be a big step for Gundogan. I don't know if he could replace Xavi or uh, could replace Iniesta in a couple of years. Let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Our last player for today is Raheem Sterling my friends and I think yes everybody knows that he doesn't want to stay at Liverpool and there are a lot of clubs hunting Raheem Sterling this young talent and Bayern Munich looks like is going to signing him. Of course, Bayern Munich is looking for a replacement for Franck Ribéry and Arjen Robben in the next couple of years, but I can't imagine that a big talent, a big English talent is going to leave the BPL. It doesn't get in my mind. I don't know what to say because every single English star player is playing in the BPL. This was today's episode my friends. I hope you've enjoyed it. Leave a comment, hit that like button and we will see us in the next episode of the FIFA 16 potential transfers. I hope we will see us next time. Have a great day. I'm out. Peace.